No two smiles are the same, so why not have the best smile you can have? And if you've been thinking about a smile design, Dr. John Lau is here. He's had almost 20 years in the dental field, and he's had training in cosmetics and found his niche in smile designs. Good to see you, Doc. Good to see and, you too, Joni. And how much fun do you have? You get to work with smiles all day long. Well, people don't like going to the dentist, but we somehow try to find a way to make it fun. So we'll keep continuing to try to make people happy and make more smiles come around. Um, now we're talking about smile designs today, and uh, you've been consulting with me because I'm thinking about doing, you know, just, just a few things out there. But when you actually talk about smile designs, I know that that can encompass a lot of different areas. So um, why don't we just talk about, first of all, what are some of the issues that you can actually um, enhance with a smile design? Well, I think most people don't like colorations, and, and those are some things that we can change with that. Rotated teeth and, and issues that they've long dealt with and never thought that they had another option outside of orthodontics. Um, these are probably the biggest things that we run into and address. Uh, but. We, uh, we have a lot of different issues. Sometimes people have spaces between their teeth. Um, one way or another, we can fix it and make it better. Yeah, and there are uh, several different treatments that you can do, right? Many different ways that you can approach it, and a lot of times it comes down to, we always open with, if you could wave a magic wand, what would you like to do to your teeth? Mm -hmm. And I think it's a great way to give people an opportunity to see, is this something there that they want to uh, be able to make better, what what can I do? Um, so it's a wide open range of things we can do to make people better. Let's talk about uh, the smile design uh, that you're doing with me. <laughs> now these obviously aren't going to be the, the, the teeth that I'm wearing, but talk a little bit you know, about the treatment process. Okay, well we start with what we call wax up, which is a, a, just a basically a, a recreation of what we think we're gonna do to your teeth. So we're gonna start by uh, taking a look at what you, what you have and, uh, and what improvements you wanna make. Uh, and we'll go ahead and deal with our lab and try to put together what we call a wax up. There are some restrictions and not everyone's going to be able to get a smile design uh, depending on what their teeth are and what their problems are but your wax up is basically going to be what we think you want combined with the dental parts that we put together. Probably a little bit of crowding you know my lower teeth and so we're going to be addressing you know some of those type things. Um, who would be a good candidate for a smile design? I think someone that grew up with, uh, we used to have tetracycline staining as a, as a child. Sometimes kids would have this and they'd have real dark stained teeth and, and they always felt like that was something they just had to deal with. Well, now we have all kinds of different opportunities to, to hide that and make it go away. That's a great example of one. Um, someone that's got either lots of spaces or, or issues with their teeth that maybe they don't.